Hello guys, in today's episode, I wanna show you how to organize your project browser in Revit. This is a best practice for organizing your browser. I'm gonna show you how to do it with your views, but you can extend this practice to your schedule and your sheets. So without further ado, let's jump into Revit so I can share with you how I am organizing my project browser. So basically in Revit, we have project browsers and also we have the properties on both sides and you can kind of align this. So what we need to look at here, we're going to look at the views and how we can organize the views. So there's a first location that you can find it. You can right click on views. You can see everything for all the sheets and schedule. We stick to the views. The next location is going to be under the view tab, user interface and basically the same browser organization. So there's a tool location that you can get to this. Let's right now start creating our view. So go to manage tab, project property. So we wanna create a properties. Uh, we need to create one, make sure it's on project parameter. Uh, we need to kind of name it, let's just put generated by. I wanna make sure it's instance and uh, all the discipline we just leave it on common and then for the next line item we need to select text and just make sure you select by instance um, and everything we just leave it but under the categories we want to work on views so just make sure you select the views and you hit okay so right now it doesn't have any value but we're going to add later on okay so let's okay and okay over here so you can see it's selected uh when you select okay you will be able to see that in the properties that text generator shows up right so right now i'm clicking on the floor plans and see for example let's say this floor plan is created by aa um let's make another one let's say two okay see this one let's do bb uh and then let's do for the like a different sheets so let's check the solar analysis uh let's put this one as aa so let's say like this person and when you see when you type it and you hit the drop down it basically shows there's gonna be the same person is over there to can use it basically so this is gonna be the different one we'll just put cc let's just go through a few more uh let's just do the west uh put bb over here is already in the drop down so we can use that one and let's just do the south as well uh let's check cc um the initial of the people who created these um so let's just do the last one for the like a building section okay we have a few people right now that work on this and they have the initial on the views browser organization it's not here we hit the new because we need to create a new one so let's just type here generated by okay and then uh let's just type okay uh i don't want to filter it we'll just talk about it later but let's just go to grouping so i want to group it uh, by generated by first and then let's say um types family and type let's just group it for now by these two and then we can adjust later so you can hit okay you can see it shows up let's check the box for generated by and then apply okay and you can see that all the views are kind of sorted out based on the generated by so uh aa person has all the drawing under the created also bb uh with cc and ff so these are the initial of the people who generated these uh views uh, and you can see the rest of it is basically not. And if you see like these kind of question marks and most of the brevets. So the reason is the view is organized, but specific um, specific item that the creator wants. And the rest of it that is not organized by that specific parameter is going under that question mark. So right now, if you go, if I, let's say I go through this and somebody wants to add more, you basically just select it, put the name and you can see the stairs section showed up over here. Thank you guys for watching today's episode on browser organization in Revit. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in the comment section down below if you are using a different way to organize your browser. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.